Welcome back to the Taipei Open 2018. Five semi-finals we've seen so far on our TV courts and just one more and then the lineup for tomorrow's finals will be complete. A couple have gone to three games in that big upset there. Uh, Chao Tian Chen losing the world number one, or sorry, the number one seed, fourth best player in the world. Meanwhile, our final singles match, Jan Jorgensen of Denmark against Richie Takashita. And Takashita ranked way down in the 80s, but he's a better player than that. And uh, this may not be quite so easy as it looks for Jorgensen. Here's how we stand in terms of the race for Wang Zhou. Even though Chow lost, he's not in any danger of not going. Uh, as you can see, Jorgensen some way back. Not in that list of ten. Still a few tournaments to go. And here's how the draws panned out. And there's the confirmation of uh, Lee's surprise win against uh, Chow. Officials are all on court and we'll see two players emerging shortly. I think whichever one of these gets through, it's going to be a good final tomorrow against Lee, who was so impressive earlier. Jorgensen in particular could definitely do us some points in his bid uh, for the HSBC race to Hangzhou. Takashita not going to be involved in that event, but would love to get through to the final here. Full love about the last meeting in Black Spain Black. early in the year to go to Black. three games. So, Jorgensen, who's 30 years of age now, has been as high as number two. That was in January of 2015. Well over 600 professional matches he's had. Jorgensen, European champion in 2014, three times Danish national champion. World Championship bronze a few years ago. What's the final of the Swiss Open this year in Basel? But he hasn't won a tournament since he won the China Open two years ago. Having said that, his path to this semi has been very straightforward, as you can see. So, Takashita, that uh, high ranking of 33 was uh, some three years ago, uh, by the way. Only major win came in the New Zealand Open five years ago. He has won four international events, they're the lesser events, including one this year actually, that was down under in Sydney earlier in the year. Taken to three games in a bit of a marathon by Surab Varma of India in the second round. Jitrit 
Shona Kalapat from Thailand is the umpire. Alan Chen Ladies from on my right, the host nation Jan is the service Jokesen, coach. Denmark. And on my left, Richie Takeshita, Japan. So, Richie, place Takeshita, against Li Zijia at stake. Play. And it's Takeshita serving. Early pressure from Jorgensen. Service over. One love. He's a naturally aggressive player, Ian Jorgensen, and I think he's going to just try and take it right to Takashita. Oh. Service over. One. Mistake there, though. Yeah. That's the most potent weapon. He's six foot one. The game so high with those jump smashes. So far, he's effectively been directly involved in all five points. He's won three, and then two that Takashita's got. Uh, errors when he left the shuttle and it landed in. Four, two. Takashita with the jump smash in anger. Keep dropping on the line, don't they? Oh. Oh. Oh, I should have made something of that, Jorgensen. That was a bad miss. Don't think that. Takashita would ever have got there. Didn't have to in the end. Three straight points for the Japanese. <laughs> oh. 
six, five. Sat up and said, hit me, and Dr. Shooter certainly wasn't going to disappoint there. So I didn't see Jorgensen running away with this. He's had some tightish matches with the Japanese, even though he's not lost one against him in four attempts, in four meetings. to there. No chance for the Dane. Starting to take control in this opening game. Rishi Takashita. Court nicely done. Ten, oh. We had to stop the rot somehow. Yeah, wouldn't be denied. So he'll go to the chair with uh, a two-point lead. Takashita in this opening game.
11, 9, play. So can Takashita hold this lead? Always a, I think it's a mental thing when you've never beaten an opponent several tries. Superb. Right on the line. He's going to challenge it, but I've got to say, from where I'm sitting, that looked good. Hawkeye in operation again. Remember, each player has two challenges per game. I think this is just because he can challenge it, not because he genuinely thinks he missed the line, but I won't be wrong. Smack in the middle of the line. Fourteen ten play. Maybe just got a tad impatient there, Takashita. His lead's been trimmed to two again, as it was at the interval. That was a bit of a lazy one. A wayward forehand there. I don't want to give player of Jorgensen's ability, the uh, encouragement to come back like this. Go! And that one he did get right. He's, he's left a few that have hit the line, but not that one. And in what seems a blink of an eye, he's on terms. Terrific smash. Trying to come on strong in the latter part of this game. Tamashita led at the interval, but now Jorgensen with a two point advantage. That was it. Very unlike him, though. Short range. Miss at the net. 
service over 1750. Well, that was a great chance. Every time he's uh, well inside that back line, you quite fancy him to land that. Well, it worked in doubles. Not this though. So. Well, have to shoot it. Right back in this now. Jorgensen certainly didn't want this going to the wire. I think if he could get this done in straight games, assuming he does win, it would be a huge advantage because that Chow against Lee match earlier, both finished absolutely exhausted. And played for an hour and 20 minutes, but now... Takashita, favourite for the opening game with a one-point lead. The business end. Another error from the Dane. He's made too many. Still could win this game, of course, but he's doing it the hard way. Yeah, superb from Takashita. Well, open the door, Takashida shoved his way through. Three game points for the Japanese. There it is, in just 18 minutes, 21 points to 17. Jorgensen well below par. Takashita took full advantage. Second game, love all play. So, Morganson playing catch up, and he'll have to play considerably better than he did in that opening game. Looked like he turned it round, but just out of sorts. One love.
Another few entertaining rallies, these two. So it's over. One all. Still can't find his rhythm, Jorgensen. the Dane. So it's over. Four, Just three. think at some point he's going to step up a level. We know he can play better than this. Oh, that was going well out from Jorgensen. Handle and wasn't really close to finding it. Oh, oh, I the net. Convincing was it that from Jorgensen? It's a lack of conviction. <coughs> Takashita is a good enough player. If he doesn't improve, then he can take advantage. We saw that in the first game. Jorgensen will still be favourite, but he'll have to step it up. That's bang on the line. Flash on the line. Seven, five.
Ross Rowley finished in style by Jorgensen, but there was a, a moment, maybe six or seven shots before that winner, where it looked as though Takashita could have left one, and it would have been right in the middle of those tram lines from the Dane. Very easy to say from up here. So he's pulled himself level again. to me as though the Japanese has just stopped being quite as proactive as he was earlier. Almost like he's, he's waiting for Jorgensen to make the mistake. take advantage Three-point lead at the interval for Jorgensen. Accepter det. Følg med. Men stadig ikke nå bolden er højt. Lidt det rigtige bue på løftene. Og så lige hold gang i benene med at kisse fly. Og så skal der arbejde stenhårdt derinde. Du får ikke noget for ærne. Så når du kører det der tempeskift, går ikke igennem, og så ved du, hvor den lige kommer. Han har haft to stykke sinde. So at the moment, in pole position to take us to a decider, and it's just the way the, the impetus of the match has shifted. Jorgensen playing the better badminton of the two now. Nice flicker, nice finish, and the smash there. say that Takashita has conceded this game yet, obviously, but just looking at him, just think mentally, he looks a little bit resigned to his fate at the moment in this game. Just uh, frittering away points very quickly. Well, that 
yards in by quite a lot. That was a, a really bad misjudgment by Jorgensen, who's been way below his best. But uh, certainly in this second game, the better player of the two. So he's scored 59. Oh, uh, the best shot he's played for a while. Top class, that. Like a sheeter. So he's scored. Maybe. It's too late to save him, though, in this game. <laughs> Trying to repeat. Different result. Jorgensen has a few concentration lapses. We saw in the first game, 17 all. In fact, he got himself a, a two-point lead at the latter stage of that game and then just kind of, I won't say surrendered, but went right off the boil. Trouble at this end with the drift, I think, Jorgensen. They will have enough of a cushion, though, in this uh, second game. Calculations as well from Jorgensen. That's the left six or seven, maybe more, incorrectly. Where he didn't try and hit it too hard, concentrating on the placement, the timing, knowing that was coming back. A couple of points away then from setting up a final game decide. So six game points.
can be disappointed with that because he was in mid court. Just has to be careful here. Wilkinson doesn't want to make this into a nail biter. It looked like he pretty much had it won in the second game. to 16 in the second game and we have a decider between these two to see who's going to make it through to tomorrow's final stay with us yeah yeah spill a little more wind in the ball wind Jeg er lidt mere mellemspil, ja, afvind, det er måske så meget sagt. Jeg er bare ikke lige så ivrig deroppe. Altså, det giver mig lidt bedre muligheder. Det er også fordi, jeg stoler lidt mere på mit løft. Ja. Jeg mener, at det er spil, det er efter den lange duel også, I har. Det er der, du rykker. Ja. Du kan godt spille den store bane, men bare pas på, at det bliver for passivt. Ja. Så når han ligger og lokker dig og tager fart ud af spillet, det er han jo gerne have, at du går ind og så stresser på den første og bliver for ivrig, og så slår han kontra på dig. Ja. Læg højt på den, maskeringer foran ham, ind og så bruge vinden. Well, well done for sticking with us. If you've been watching from the start, that was uh, about five hours and 40 minutes ago, and we are one five game away from concluding our coverage. But the question is, will it be Jorgensen or Takashita in tomorrow's men's singles fight? Balance of play in that second game, you'd say Jorgensen ought to have the edge, but the unpredictable. And he does have concentration issues. One love. He's going to challenge that, and I would too. It's close. Did she challenge just call out? And a pretty good view of it. Japanese, let's see how close this was to the line. Did it catch just a little piece of the sideline? Oh, it did. More than a piece. For exciting. So it's over. One all play. Cheetah's racket, that one. Two, one. That was a very good shot, though. Very average to top class in the space of about 15 seconds. Might well be nip and tuck this uh, decider.
I just think Tanishita looks a better player when he takes the attack to his opponent. There was a period in the second game where he kind of almost sat back and, and sort of hoped that Jorgensen would make mistakes, Jorgensen would make unforced errors. He, ca he became very defensive, starting the third game in a completely different vein, the same way he played the first, just like that. Asking all the questions of Jorgensen that he didn't ask in the second game. Doesn't always work, of course, but you're more likely to get that kind of a bonus if you're the one trying to make the running. Genuinely think that. Challenging that. Jorgensen was pretty close to that. It wasn't a major challenge, though. Not as confident as this one as I was the last one he challenged. No. So, one challenge left for... Take a shooter. Jorgensen still has a couple. Three, four, play. Oh, yeah. Service over. Five, three. I also think when he plays like this, he's a much better player to watch, Takashita. Another error from Jorgensen. His radar has been really off today. Again, that wasn't particularly close, relatively speaking. Points, Jorgensen. to one side of the court, set it up for the smash to the other. He's an imposing figure, six foot one, when he's standing at the net like that. It just doesn't look like there's any way past him. Certainly, I'm sure that's what it would look like to Rishi Takashita. Set up for the Japanese there as it had been for the day moments earlier. And still, impossible to choose 
between these two. Seven all in the decider. to react there and it certainly makes it a better spectacle when both players are trying to be aggressive at the same time side landed it perfectly easily have gone cross court there long any better than that and he's going to have a two-point lead as they go for the interval So the final act about to be written in the uh, semi-finals for the 2018 Chinese Taipei Open. Takashita with a narrow advantage. It looks like he's going to keep attacking. That's his best chance. He set it up, he just missed it. Once again, went the narrow side. We saw him do that to very good effect at the end of the... Well, just, just before the interval. And that time didn't work for him. He couldn't criticise his effort, but it was a devilish angle that Jorgensen created there.
il le veut haut. a nervous leave that he, he just sensed he didn't, didn't have a massive amount of conviction in that decision <laughs> it was more hope over expectation and so it proved Loose one. Yeah, I think I, I think I might challenge that as well. It's very close. I don't think it's uh, smack centre of the line, just a question whether it clipped the edge of it. It's called in. Hawkeye yeah. again at an important moment in this deciding game. No Hawkeye, then of course the original decision will stand. There it is. Yeah, it did just clip the line. Challenges unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 12 13. Sometimes it's a, a sport of such fine margins. But at the moment, Augustin just sneaking ahead. Thought about leaving that, but the drift was going to take it in, and that was hammered. So it's over. Well, clearly, Takashita has lost absolutely none of his heart. Terrific shot. Distance. Always suspected it might be nip and tuck. <laughs> oh, fair pin exchange. Brilliant smash. Takashita. 
Pressure ramping up now on both. Jorgensen, the seeded player, remember, but this represents a great chance for one or other of them to take down a title. Lee waiting in the final after Chao Chen Chen's elimination, surprisingly, by the Malaysian. That's a good leave. His leaving has been better. Not massively, but it has been better than Jorgensen's. Well, he did well to react to the net court in the middle of that rally, Takashita, but then rather sacrificed the point in a tame manner to keep this deciding set right on a knife edge. the Japanese who blinked first becoming a massive point there had it gone 18-15 then you would have started to fear a little bit for Jorgensen as it is still anyone's Chance might have gone when he lost that second game, but he's come back very strongly in the decider, very positively. And Jorgensen, three points from defeat here. Yeah. Side again, it's good smash, good defense from Jorgensen, and then the error from Takashita. There's a few nerves out there now, as you might expect at 18 0. Brave leave, especially as he hasn't left particularly well in this semi final, but that was the right decision that time.
Took a bit of a gamble there, you almost it paid off for him. And now he's got a match point. Service over to Eddie Melchor, 19. Hasn't been at his best, but... Chance to wrap up the match, make the final. Oh, that is really casual, though. You must hear in his head saying, don't, don't make a cheap error, don't give him a cheap point, and he did exactly that. Out by a considerable margin, that one. He must have had his heart in his mouth watching that shuttle come down. I don't think it was out by that much. No, it wasn't, but it's match point again for the day. Takashita taking it to Jorgensen, even though he's match point down. He got his reward. 21 points all. Service over. 21 all. So a couple of chances have come and gone for Jorgensen. Takashita trying to earn himself a match point here. Some evidence there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, had to recover mentally very quickly, couldn't do it. And Jorgensen sets up another match point, his third. Can he seal the deal here? Wants to get on with it. But that was. A poor serve, really. He was under pressure. Straight away in the rally. Opportunity. Second match point for Rishi Takashita. He's won one major title, that was in New Zealand, 2013. Five and a half years later, can he give himself the chance of getting another? Again, he set it up with a poor serve. He, he was claiming 
without a lot of conviction that Jorgensen touched the net or played the shuttle from the wrong side, but no. And we go on. That is absolutely fabulous after more than an hour on court. The height and the power and the placement. Service over. 25, 74. And another chance. Last time the serve was poor. It gave Jorgensen the initiative straight away. possibly have predicted what a battle great performance from 29 year old Rishi Takashita who wins 21-17 16-21 26 24 really was a good match Jorgensen will be very disappointed but in the end, he didn't take his opportunities. He was nowhere near his best. I'm sure he'd admit that. And he will have to watch tomorrow's proceedings. Might well be on a plane early. Well, what a day of shocks it's been. Confirmation of that scoreline. No help. An hour and seven minutes on court. At the fourth time of asking in terms of the match points he had. Takashita gets it done. So here's a recap then. Uh, Lena Karls felt comfortable uh, in the women's singles. Uh, the men's doubles was... Uh, sorry, the mixed doubles was an excellent match. In the end, Yang and Wu coming through easily in the decider. Uh, the women's singles, Tai Zhu Ying, excellent today, 37 minutes, she's through no problem. The big shock, Chao Tianqian beaten by the world number 60, Li Zi Ya. We'll see him tomorrow in the men's doubles, uh, barely half an hour for Chen and Wang to come through. And as we've just seen, Yang Jorgensen, the fifth seed, dumped out by the Japanese Rishi Takashita. Hope you've enjoyed our coverage. My name's Trevor Harris. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow, all five finals live. But for now, from me and our whole out outside broadcast crew here in uh, Taipei, it's goodbye.